What it is, guys? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you with more Dokkan. Now, we finally got some of what we were expecting, and I'll get into that here in a moment. But, first, first things first, let's just jump into the hype here. Physical Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, he does drop as a base form like we expected, so you can farm him through the Super Strikes. Um, I'm sure that the base form SR Vegeta is going to be on his banner. Um, if, if it's the Super Saiyan, we're getting screwed. We should get the base, the, the, the int base uh, SR Vegeta, so that's SA fodder for him. Um, all that said, this dude is busted to all shit and back, and we'll talk about that here in a moment too. So, let's just start off with his leader skill. Pure Saiyans category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, 150%. So all stats, 150 for Pure Saiyans. Now, that's also super class allies. Every super class. Rainbow super class. Not even like one of each. Rainbow, complete rainbow super class, all super class. Key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, 100%. And I know, I've already had this discussion with people who are like, how the hell are we going to get this guy to SSB? Run him on a lower lead. Run him with a, you know, run him with a 90% lead or something like that. Like, for real. It's, if you run him on a lower level team, you are going to have a ton of fun because you're finally going to get that badass transformation out of, or Harutagarn for that matter. Um, so, that said, actually, actually, Janemba would be better because Janemba, he would have type disadvantage against. So, let's talk about this. All right. So, in this form, as these two you are, but, you know, this one, because we know he's going to transform. Uh, super uh, super attack is raises defense, that blades a 30% raise, uh, and causes immense damage to the enemy. Okay? Attack and defense, 80%, plus an additional 6% per key sphere obtained, just like we talked about last night. Okay? Transforming conditions are met. I believe uh, my understanding is it's one turn, just like Goku and Frieza. Just like the Goku card and the Frieza card, every turn he's going to transform again. Okay? Um, so the conditions aren't really there. Like, just like we talked, Link's skills are Golden Warrior, Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Pride, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Start doing some math on those attack links and wait to... Just stand back in awe of how insane he gets. Now, he does transform, unfortunately, because... Um, I think it's just the limitations of, of the code on Renzi's side. The next thing we'll be able to see is Super Vegeta, and it's actually going to go back than to Super Saiyan Vegeta. So I'm going to quote everything here for both for all five forms. Okay? So, leader skill obviously doesn't change. They never do. Uh, super attack is raises defense and causes immense damage to the enemy, just like in this form. But Super Vegeta, that's of course the grade 2 buff form Vegeta. And like I said, his super attack is the final flash. Uh, and I do have the super attack animations. We'll showcase those at the end. I guess I should probably do it in, a, in between, but bit late to start now. So, uh, Super Vegeta. Super attack is the final flash, just like we kind of figured the one he does against Cell. Raises attack and defense causes, or I'm sorry, just raises defense, not attack, causes immense damage, just like the previous one. Now, passive skill, attack and defense, 90% plus an additional 7% per key sphere obtained. Again, this is not physical key sphere. This is any key sphere he obtains. Transforming conditions are met. Uh, Golden Warrior, Prodigies, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Pride, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle. I think that's all the same. Now, third form, which is funny enough, Super Saiyan 2. Alright, third form, Super Saiyan 2. Again, Leader Shield doesn't change. Uh, super Attack is still raises defense and causes immense damage. Uh, passive skill is the big one here. Attack and defense, 100%, plus an additional 8% per key sphere obtained. You know, once again, he's going to transform next turn. Golden Warrior, Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Lineage, Prepared for Battle and Fierce Battle. Um, let me see. Does that change? Let's find out here. Nope. Still no change. Still all the same. Oh, no, no. Royal Lineage. Yeah, no, no. Royal Lineage, Saiyan. Yep. Yeah. So still no change at this grade. Now, when he goes to Super Saiyan God, he changes a little bit. Okay. Now, SSG, once again, leader skill has not changed. Super attack has not changed. Um, raise the defense is still 30% modifier in all forms up till the last one. Now, as SSG, and I wish I could show you the SSG art because the art is some of the best art in this game. But I 
think I'd have to look. I'm not sure if that's the same art from the other SSG Vegeta. Either way. Um, and we'll get into our critiques of this unit here in just a few minutes. But, and I can't critique this art because this art looks phenomenal. Um, the SSG art looks phenomenal. The, in fact, most of the art on here looks absolutely gorgeous. They've really gone above and beyond with uh, the art as of late. I think since the, the DBS movie units, I think they've really started to figure out that, okay, we need to up our game. Now, but again, we'll get to our critiques here at the end. So, same same leader, same super attack for SSG. Uh, passive skill attack and defense 110. Additional 9% per keys you obtained. Beginning to transform next turn. Categories... Okay, I'm sorry. Link skills are Warrior Gods, Prodigies, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Godly Power, Over in a Flash, and Fierce Battle. And then finally, we get our boy, SSB. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Leader skill does not change. Super Attack does. Super Attack is the final blow. Greatly raises attack for one turn. That's a 50% attack increase. Start doing math on this. Passive skill. Attack and defense... 120%. Plus an additional 10% per key sphere obtained. Change all key spheres to physical spheres only once. Every sphere on the board becomes yellow key spheres. That means that's 23 orbs on the board. That's 230%, plus 120%, 250 percent plus 50% from his super attack. That is 4 Hundred percent. I'm not done. Warrior gods, prodigies, super saiyan, royal lineage, godly power, and prepared for battle. That is another attack ten percent. Attack ten percent. Attack ten percent. Thirty percent. Four hundred thirty percent. But we're not done. Godly power is fifty percent. Fierce battle is fifteen percent. Four hundred and sixty percent. Now you're never going to get that. To be honest, you would have to have someone linked up that has every single one of those. And I don't think everybody does. So, while he has that potential, um, remember that you're not going to get that. You're just realistically not going to get that. Um, I'm sure someone's going to find a way to make it happen, but uh, it's as close to impossible as impossible gets. Because, remember, he's going to change all orbs to uh, amber. All orbs are going to go yellow. And when that happens, he needs to be in the front, which means whoever's next is the dude he's going to link with. Now that said, that said, you put a good linker there and like physical uh, boo at the end for that extra 50% passive, plus put some units on the first rotation, they're going to increase super attack. You could get crazy, crazy damage out of this dude. And this is, I cannot wait because I'm actually going to go pretty hard on this. Uh, well, okay, I won't say pretty hard. I got to cool it on, my, on the summons a little bit. I can't go 2,000 stones deep on every banner. Uh, channel just doesn't support that but we will be going decently hard I want this unit really badly because uh, and again I know people are like but you're never going to get that transformation whatever we can make it work we'll make it happen um, you know run some lower level teams and get them up there but 460% before you attack on other people's passive before you attack on super attacks in the previous turn before you attack on any of that other stuff this dude is going to be one of the biggest hitters in the game. Mark my words. Now again, though, under conditions that are nearly impossible to replicate and just simply won't happen in every event. Um, I'm even trying to think of events where I'd be able to get him up there. If I had him on the best Pure Saints team I could build, there's just no, simply no way. Just simply no way. Um... Before I go on to his, uh, his super attack, I think it's also worth noting here. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize this and see if we can close this out. Oop. Nope. Go back. Go back. We're also getting this Vegeta. This is going to be another one that's on the banner. I'm going to predict right now because of his leader skill, this unit is not going to be a, um, a Dokkan exclusive. I think this is going to be all over the place. Uh, drops as a base. Dokkan's at a Super Saiyan. Probably going to come from the same Dokkan Fest, in fact. Uh, Dokkan kind of event in the game. Uh, in type key plus three, HP attack and defense 90%. That's, you know, a, a pretty decent leader skill. Um, so basically, we're getting the old school uh, LR metas. Now, as our 
basic leader skills for non-Dokkan units, which is still pretty badass. Okay. Greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. I forget what greatly raises is, but it's not really that important. It's going to be pretty good. Uh, I think it's probably like, what, 50% or something? I'd have to look at the actual numbers, but I haven't bothered. Okay. Difference resulting from training. Attack and defense, 80%. Raises attack and defense by up to 120%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stat boost. Performs a critical hit when there's an androids category enemy. So that's pretty important. So if you go up against an androids category unit, he is going to hit. And that means that, I mean, when he hits, he's going to get a crit. So I guess the question is, do you put double attack or you still put crit into him? Um, I'd have to sit down. I haven't done the math on it yet. I know crit is a bit of a multiplier. So I need to sit down with a unit like this. Like, this would be the perfect opportunity to do that and decide well, how much extra damage he's doing when he gets that guaranteed crit. So it'd be a really interesting test of that. Golden Warrior, Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Enemies, Saiyan Pride, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle. So a good linker for other Vegeta, but not a good SSB. I'll have to go look at the SSBs and talk about linking and all that stuff. That's going to be a later video for after he drops and when we're doing testing on him. Now, let's look at these super attacks, okay? This is Super Saiyan Vegeta. Okay, and I'm going to pause my music so we can listen to this music. All right, it's going to be a little loud. Okay. Super attack for Super Saiyan Vegeta. That's the first form. Uh, Super Vegeta. Sorry, it's a little grainy. It's the best footage I got. A good damage out of him too, I want to say, but I'd have to look at the uh, look at the teams. One more time. Uh, no, this should be Super Saiyan two, and it's not. Hold on. Or is it? It is. It is. There we go. That brings up an interesting point. Hold on. So this is once again super, the, the first form, Super Saiyan form. And the art here. We've seen that art before. I mean, I guess he's got the lightning around him. I wasn't paying attention, but... Alright, anyway. SSG. Again, not new art. We've seen this art before. We've seen, I think, this exact same super attack before. Look at that damage. Once again, I want to see what team he's on. And then finally... How did he do that little damage? Uh, I know he's got type disadvantage, but my god, that's... Those, the numbers are not reliable. What was his attack stat even? Let's see, what was the attack stat on this? It should show us. Okay, so his attack stat was 1.4, no, 2.1 million. So they're doing this in like a major Dokkan fest. Um, or boss rush or something, I don't know. This These are all generally captured on, on a private server. So... For my critiques, the super attacks are lazy. The super attacks are extremely lazy. Uh, they Just like with the Goku and Frieza unit, I know creating five to six brand new super attacks, well, six technically because there's two guards, um, nobody's going to be critiquing the super attack on the base unit. Super Saiyan, the first, probably the first one, and like every other one, if they made three new super attacks, especially for a brand new unit, that's a lot of work. Don't get me wrong. We're asking for a lot out of Akatsuki. But uh, I'll be breaking down the assets on a couple of different super attacks we've got lately. And I just want to point out that you could really tell where the love is and what units they really care about and what units they want to boost. This unit is not one of those. I already looked at the assets. The assets are pretty lazy. There's a handful of them. Whereas with the better ones, like some of the really good assets that I've been getting from, uh, from our man JLX, um, some of those really amazing assets he gave me before... 
There's tons and tons and tons of pages of assets. And with him, there's maybe like three or four. It's not that much. And you could tell by his motions. Let's go by his motions again. Okay. So that's all the exact same shot. And what they're doing is they're just adding a little bit of a blur effect to him. And it's not even a real blur effect. It almost just looks like it's uh, more the effect, the, the graininess of the footage. But you can see it's literally just the exact same frame just moving on screen. And even the key blasts aren't original. Look at that. Basically the same key blasts over and over again. Um, and that... Again, lazy as all get out. Look, it, all they're doing is they're motioning him. They're not changing his position at all. They're not even like trying to do fades or anything like that. Like two or three frames of animation would have changed everything there. Once again, same exact animation, adding a little bit of a blur effect, but not much. Again, they're they're relying on a lot of animation tricks here to make this work. And it's and if they had done like a little twist on him or something, or even done just like a position change, it would have changed everything for as few frames as that is. And they come down here and it's just this shake. And again, like I said, there's a handful of frames of animation. So we've got one frame of animation, two frames of animation, three frames of animation, four. And again, right there, we can't, uh, that, that would have been fine. That's the same way in all of his super techs. So five frames of animation thus far for five different scenes. That's pretty bad. Okay. Now this is where it gets interesting. They could have added a blur here and they didn't, but he changes positions twice, which is nice. I think they could have done that a little better. It, it starts to impress, but then you realize this is literally just the same fist from this scene and the blur and everything is already on it. So all they did was play with the camera tricks and that's, it looks good. It looks okay, but when there's no motion here, it just seems really lazy. And you can kind of tell all the backgrounds are the same. So what do we say? There's five, six, seven, eight. And look, is that even, that's a different scene. That is a different scene. Eight frames of animation total. The nine, okay, I stand corrected. And his mouth opened. Ooh. Takes nothing to open a mouth like that. So, in fact, I think it's just a new overlay on the face. So, animation's really lazy on this. I don't know about you guys. This, this, at this point, when we see like our trunks and mice and things like that, I expect so much more out of animation. And when you get a unit this crazy good and this hype, and to see that kind of lazy animation is really, really, really disappointing. I'll kick my music back on here one more time. All right. So that's my criticisms of the unit. Um, now, here's another thing that's also worth noting. Okay, so those are our new units. Let's go into events. Let's go into the missions. I'm sorry, not events. Okay, and we're gonna go to the special missions. I'm gonna grab my phone here to do this. Uh, it's just easier to scroll like that. We're gonna go down to the bottom. Come on. There we are. Thanks, Amazon. All right. So here's all our saying day events. There's going to be a lots and lots and lots of stones up for grabs. A platinum. Or some, sorry, that's diamond Hercule statue. Decent amount of orbs. Sleepy Kai's. Uh, Grand Kai's. There's new uh, easy A's that this already gives away. So good stuff, guys. I think that, that Int Vegeta, I believe, is getting an easy A. I could be wrong on that one. I think that's what it is. Um, 3.18 million zenny. Pretty awesome. Um, so look at this. Here's where we get the good stuff. 3, 3, 5, 10. <laughs> Lots of dragon stones up. For, I mean, there, there's no shortage of free-to-play dragon stones. They've heard our pleas, and they're like, all right, cool. Here you go. Have some dragon stones. Um, so good stuff, guys. Good stuff coming up. But you notice what we're missing here. Now, we're getting the missions for quests and things that are coming up. Future Trunks is coming back. That's good for me. Um, I do need that event back. Uh, Rabbit Mob comes back, but I think that comes back every tournament. Um, what are we missing here? We are missing the events for Clone Vegeta. We're missing the assets for the free-to-play Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. Or Gotenks. Sorry. I think I called them Trunks last night. Um, 
That was the translation I had. So, Super Saiyan, the free-to-play Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks doesn't look like it's coming to global. It looks like that is going to be JP exclusive. It's a thing. I was really hoping we'd get them, but... It doesn't look like that's the case. Now, they could drop it on us. Maybe there's no missions for it, which would be really weird. Like, every story event has missions. But there's no missions for the story event in uh, in the game right now. Unless they're just going to add it later on with a, you know, like a like a ghost download or something like that at the end of the tournament. We'll see. But at this juncture of time, it doesn't look like we're getting the free-to-play Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Probably not for a little bit. Um, take that for what it is. I still think it's pretty awesome the stuff we are getting. The fact that we're getting a dual festival with JP is pretty awesome. And this brand new unit. Uh, remember, JP hasn't even gotten uh, hit yet. And everything they, they're doing on JP right now is with active skills. So maybe that means JP is getting hit shortly. That'd be pretty awesome for them. Um, but, yeah, good stuff. And then this will probably last the rest of the month. Uh, let's see when all this ends. Let's see. I didn't even look at it. Saying day missions... Uh, so this ends on the 3rd. So it's perfect timing. So when this ends, we'll start to get the DB Hero stuff. Because remember, I think that's two days later, Dragon Ball Heroes drops on the Switch and the PC. So looks like this event, same day event, will go for the rest of the month. And then we'll get all the stuff for Dragon Ball Heroes. So stay tuned for all that. But that's going to be the video, guys. Let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below. Are you disappointed we're not getting Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks? I'm a little disappointed, but I don't know. Maybe you guys don't care. Um, remember, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is getting an easy A, and that's probably why they're getting him. They're probably going to be getting that easy A uh, the, for the, the old tech one here shortly, and then giving him a farmable super would be really awesome on top of that. So it's probably why they're getting him, and we're not. So when we get his easy A, what, September, October? Um, then we'll probably get it about that point. We might get it early. I don't know. It's hard to gauge anymore, which I kind of like, but... It's a, you know, it's a content creator. It's a little weird, but that's the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow my Birdman, hit me up a booker. I'll be back with another live stream tonight. And I am working on second part of the damage test with the Gogetas. I just haven't gotten that transformation. Funny enough, mentioning that on this one. So we'll be back with more of that uh, later this evening. Lay your asses out then, I guess. I got to threaten you with near future fat man behind a screen at random threatening you.